So I was commissioned in Indian Army in June 1976. He's a graduate from Defence Services College, Wellington. Uh, uh, sir has done important career courses to include joint staff courses at South African Defence College, uh, the Higher Command course at Army War, uh, War College, Mao, and the Royal College of Defence Studies, UK. He has had varied experience to include a tenure at India Kharagwasla, Indian military training team at Bhutan, at the integrated HQ of MOD Army as Director in Military Operations Directorate, Deputy Director General of Military Intelligence, Foreign Division, and many other prestigious appointments before retiring from the Distinguished Services on 3rd September 2015. We welcome Lieutenant General Rajiv Bhalla to share his valuable views on what can we learn from the Indian Armed Forces. Sir. Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Definitely, what's important is the experience one carries along for the last 60 years, and that needs to be shared with the youngsters or with the younger generation, I would say. It's very important to match up, establish a rapport, to understand each other. Otherwise, whether it's the society or it's the families, you'll always find there are vast differences which take place. And at times, those differences are not easy to gap. And it's best to ensure that the gap which is there is minimized. And that actually can happen only from both the sides, from the older generation and from the younger generation. The younger generation has to understand, and the older generation has to change, adapt to the new times which are coming. I must tell you, it was only the day before at night, at about 9.30, when my colleague Mr. Sharma Sudhir came to me to say that you must come and attend this function of ours and give a talk. And I was telling him, I said, you're giving me too short a notice to come and talk, but let me see what I can share my views with. It's not easy to do things while in the service. I served in the army for 40 years retired about nearly two years ago and ever since after that I am the advisor in the Ministry of Sports now. So one is leading active life in some manner or the other. What I would like to say is that a person grows with his own experience and these experiences come by yourself. It's very difficult to understand and learn from the experience of the others. But people who learn from others' experience are the people who excel. So it's important to reach a level where you are into that kind of a thing. And firstly, I must compliment each one of you. I've been seeing ever since Sunny established his company, his dad has always been interacting with me and he told me how the company has been progressing. Every year he used to meet two to three times and he told me. Though I've never visited the company, but that is a I would say a loss of mine, but it's great to see so many young children being hired, company doing very well and aspiring to be somewhere on top. The aspirations can always be met in case the will is there.